In this Infusionsoft lesson, I'm going to be going over how to embed a web form, an Infusionsoft web form, onto a WordPress site uh, and follow some best practices that make it look uh, very nicely integrated and well coordinated uh, with your WordPress theme. So in this case, you can see that we have a website and it has a form in the sidebar. Uh, we make a point of embedding uh, the form using the uh, unstyled HTML code that Infusionsoft provides you versus the JavaScript uh, because uh, we want to make sure that it looks like it's a part of the website. Uh, one thing in particular um, I think we should all be aware of is uh, about half to more than half of the people that visit websites are doing so on their phone or a tablet. Um, I've squeezed the browser here so you can get an understanding of what that means for this form. You want this form to, to appear, you want it to be centered, you want it to be pleasant. On a tablet it might be this wide. So you want to make sure that you um, embed it in such a way that it works elegantly with the theme. And sometimes that's just not possible if you're using the JavaScript version. In a moment I'll show you how we put the code in here. So um, the next thing that uh, we always want to recommend is that uh, just because the uh, form appears here in the website doesn't mean that people are never going to see your Infusionsoft form. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into this campaign in particular where we have the web form and I'm going to show you what the form's design looks like. So the form, um, we have upgraded from the default form. Uh, we've added a logo, we've added labels so that these labels here and the title match the one over here and we've done that on purpose I'm sorry I'm in the wrong place uh, we've done that on purpose because um, often your user will come up and not fill in a required field or let's say they'll add uh, an email address that's improperly formatted we've got required fields here specified by the uh, asterisks now if they hit submit they are going to see this form and that's where they're going to get their error messages. So uh, we always recommend that you format this form nicely so that if someone does arrive here, um, they're not scratching their head wondering, if they arrive here, they're not sitting here scratching their head wondering what happened. So, um, so that's uh, one thing that we always recommend. We always recommend that you have a nice thank you page. If you take the Infusionsoft default page, um, or if you forget to make changes to it, this is what your users are going to see right after they hit the submit button. And, uh, you know, these apples and everything, very pretty artwork, but this has nothing to do with our company and these messages don't make sense. So it's very critical that, um, you know, you customize the thank you page either using the Infusionsoft editor, well, which is not too hard to use, or by creating another page on your site like we have here that, uh, again, it clearly blends in with the site it says thank you someone on our team will get right back to you or you know you can be more elaborate with your message uh, but it's very clear that uh, someone thought through uh, the workflow okay so let's go back here I'm going to go to settings when someone does hit submit people will get notified uh, what we do here is we've uh, notified the customer we also um, notify our webmaster address this is so we can keep track of activity on our customer projects and then we give them a subject line in the email that makes some sort of sense so when this arrives in their email inbox they'll know what it's about and uh, what Infusionsoft does is it sends them an email with that as the subject line and then it also provides them with uh, which page is it it's this one it also provides them with the information that was submitted on this page and so I'm just going to go back here uh, the final thing I want to show you is the code tab and again I recommend don't use the Java uh, script snippet unless you know the formatting and the blending in with the rest of your site is, is not a priority and that could be the case if it's just a form on a page by itself uh, so we use this HTML unstyled code so what we do is we copy and paste this into the website and here what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the widgets section of the site you would get to it right here and uh, that takes you to this page and as you can see this is in the sidebar and what we've done is we've used the same headline that appears on the form and then here's the code that we've copied into it and for some reason it just closed there so uh, so that's how you actually do the integration um, so uh, what I want to do is also show you what happens after they fill out the form. 
So after they fill out the form, what we do is we tag them and we apply a tag so we know that this happened. We create a category called high level tags, which is kind of business level notifications. So um, um, they filled out the sidebar contact us form. Um, we split this into two. Uh, we send them a confirmation email because um, what you always want to do is make sure that people are receiving your emails. By sending them one of these confirmation messages, what you're doing is if it's the first time someone is getting an email or if it's um, the first time they've gotten an email and they haven't confirmed in the past, you want them to confirm or double opt in. What that means is they filled out the form and then they've received an email behind that where they've confirmed twice that they want to receive information from you. Uh, this is important because Infusionsoft compliance, um, you know, has set their rules and emails sent out from people who have done a single opt-in, which means they filled in the form, uh, are sent out of, you know, clean servers, but it's not their cleanest servers. Once people double opt-in, they're going to be getting emails sent from their cleanest, highest delivery percent deliverability percentage servers and that's really what you want now what we've done is we've um, there's nothing in this diamond so both of these uh, follow-up sequences are going to run so we send them this optionally we create a follow-up message in um, in a separate um, sequence so everybody that fills out this form will get tagged they'll get a confirmation request if they haven't confirmed before and they'll start getting these follow-up messages uh, regardless of whether they confirm because uh, we don't want people who decide not to confirm not to get follow-up messages when we create a form like this um, we don't have the follow-up messages defined yet so what we do is we create this wait for a year uh, so that everybody is stuck here and if you want to add messages in the future uh, they can be added here, the timer can be changed, and everybody that's filled out the form will get this message after the fact. So uh, that's an overview of how this works. I'm just going to do a quick fill out of this form. Um, I'm going to use uh, a test email. Um, we're going to put in here company name, box number one, box number Two, we're going to submit the request here and you'll see they get to the thank you page I will go to my um, uh, email box uh, let's see if this email shows up it should pretty quickly um, hasn't just yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Infusionsoft uh, I'm going to search for um, the email that we just used here so we'll do a search the person is in the database um, I'll go down here to the campaigns tab and in here you can see they requested information they were tagged and they get the confirmation email request by now that probably means we've got a message here so um, as you can see here uh, uh, the ideas got the confirmation message uh, you don't have a lot of control over the formatting of this uh, from here to here this is a required Infusionsoft a uh, message that cannot be modified you can't even modify the font which is why we have a smaller font in here so I've updated this to customize it with the name of the person thank you for submitting your questions to our team someone will be getting back to you shortly and then I put in uh, you know what I like to say is my uh, we hate spam message so we before we send anything out I uh, want to let you know that we hate spam and would never send you so this is just some standard language coming from the organization saying hey uh, you know, we don't like spam. We hope you don't get too much of it. Um, so let's, you know, we're on the up and up here. Uh, I'm going to check my spam folder here to see if that Immunolab message arrived. Uh, it should arrive sometime soon. I guess we're not seeing it, but there will be one more message arriving that says the Immunolabs and it will have the information for that person. And uh, what I will also do is go here. If you go to the uh, top of this and you go to the custom fields you'll see that 
um, we have the information box one we have box two so the information was collected and uh, you know there's the first name the name of the company that we entered and the phone number along with the email address so everything is uh, working correctly uh, hope that helps